All right, so I just got done watching the Panasonic conference and they just announced the new camera, the Panasonic EVA1. I'm gonna go over some of the specs that I really liked about this camera. I'm so excited because I just had the GH5 and now they released this. So let's go over some of the specs. It's 2.64 pounds, so that's super lightweight, pretty lightweight for the camera and all the feature it has. The top handle of it comes off as, and as well as the LCD, you can also get that out so you can mount it in gimbals and stuff. It's an EF lens mount with a built-in image stabilization. Bunch of holes for you to mount your stuff, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it has an all new S35 sensor. That's huge. That's crazy. Um, shoots up 4K up to 60P or 2K up to 200 frames per second. It has a very cam look. Shoots V-Log with V-Gamut. 422 10-bit at 400 megabits per second, similar to what the GH5 is going to get in July. That's pretty freaking crazy. It has XLR audio ends, and you can output 4K via HDMI and SDI. So if you have like, you know, external recorders, you can definitely output through there. It has built-in ND filters two, four, and six stops. Also has an IR cut filter that you can remove. That's cool. They don't have the dynamic range yet because they are still developing the sensor and tweaking, so they're gonna release that later on. So the actual sensor can output up to 5.7K resolution, and in the future, they're gonna give out and release a 5.7K raw output. That's very exciting, that's insane, that's really good. All right, it uses dual SD cards, kind of like the GH5, so that's a good and a bad thing because SD cards are like small and easy to use, easy to lose, sorry, and easy to break. So I guess it's a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing it's cheaper and you can have it in your laptop without having to use an adapter for most of the laptops nowadays. So the new camera also has this thing called dual, dual native ISO, and I'm gonna show you the demo that they had to better explain what this is, and then I'll give you my, my thoughts about this new camera. The EVA-1 and its sensor are still in development. We're still tweaking things to get, get it optimized. optimized. So, so because, because of that, that uh, we used the Vericam LT to demonstrate. So the, on the Vericam LT, the base ISOs are 800 and 5000 ISO. So first we just did an exposure comparison. The base ISO 800, here's just no, just available light, New York City skyline. The lens we had was a T2.9, widest aperture, so that was just, that's what you get. And we get, at base ISO 5000, 2.6 stops brighter. But you see the noise level stays the same, it's just a much brighter image. All right, so right off the bat, I think this camera is going to be good. It's kind of like similar to the GH5 when it came out. It, look, it looks good on paper. I think this camera is Panasonic's answer to the Ursa Mini 4.6K and Ursa Mini uh, 4.6K Pro. And it's also the answer for the Canon C200,000, whatever, that the Canon just released. It's going to be awesome. I'm definitely going to compare it to the Ursa Mini 4.6K later down the road when I do get this camera. Um, but yeah, the price point they don't have yet, but the slideshow said it's gonna be less than $8,000. So I'm kind of interested on how much it's gonna be. I wonder if it's gonna be the high 8,000 or the low 8,000. Yeah, that's all I have for now. It's gonna be very exciting. Hopefully it would be affordable for a lot of people, but so far on paper, it looks great. Let me know if you're gonna get this camera and let me know if you have any questions. Peace.